I feel like I've said this a lot lately and it's more than usual for this time of year, but we had another crazy, crazy thunderstorm come through, dump a whole bunch of wind, dump a whole bunch of rain. <sighs> These horses are looking like swamp ponies at the minute. Everybody's super dirty and gross. <laughs> we were supposed to ride today. Maddie was supposed to have another lesson. I was gonna get Blue some work, but after last night, we can't do anything. I was gonna drag the arena to give it some air and see if we could dry it out. Sun's starting to come out, but that's not gonna happen. There's still standing water in it. Smoke is standing in his box. He's eating a little bit of breakfast hay. Leah and Blue don't look as bad because it's kind of hard to tell on them, but let me show you Ryder. Hi, buddy. Look how gross you are. Yep. Somebody was laying in the dirt. Well, those last couple clips that you saw, that was two days ago. Since then, it has done nothing but rain off and on and it's just absolutely swampy and muddy and messy. We are going to ride today, so we need to get these horses fed, but I always say you can't blame the rain, and we love when it's here, but my goodness, it makes it hard to ride. The only dry spot in their turnouts right now, actually this spot's not too bad, but the only other dry spot, oh, smoke. I've been feeding blue inside and smoke outside. Usually it's the opposite, but that's the only dry spot in there and I wanna make sure that blue's feet are staying okay. It's just swampy around here right now. Maddie was able to get in a little bit of a lesson yesterday. We drugged the arena and it was not too bad. And then almost as soon as she was done with her lesson, it started raining again and it's pretty muddy right now. Having a super wet arena is not too big of an issue because all that means is that instead of doing the work in the arena, we're just gonna go outside on the ranch. We've gotta check out a few things anyway, so might as well get a good training session in. Hi, bub. Look at that. It's a beautiful Texas sunrise right there. Yesterday in Maddie's virtual lesson with her trainer friend, they talked about keeping your horse thinking. So often we kind of get into a habit where we just lope circles or we do the same patterns all the time and these horses get bored. So today's objective is going to be getting your horse to think and uh, one of the ways that I like to do this is by taking the horses outside of the arena and that's what Blue and I are gonna do today. I'm gonna take him out and we're essentially going to do the same things outside of the arena that we would be doing inside of the arena, except for it's not gonna be the same pattern over and over and over again. We're gonna have to go through a bunch of country and, and do a bunch of different things that is gonna make Blue think about what I'm asking him to do and listening to me at all times. So we're, uh, we're gonna hang out with these two for a bit and then we're gonna hit the trail. You want to talk about your lesson yesterday and about, uh, you know, keeping your horse thinking? Yeah, it was mainly <clears throat> not only just keeping your horse thinking, but keeping your horse, or Honest. I guess having the mentality that your horse should be so, in a good way, mentally tired after a ride from asking you always, what's next? What are we doing next? Um, Cassie was explaining, you know, when you're trotting in my world, 
the horse should be asking you, are we extending? Are we collecting? Are we doing transitions? You always want them kind of thinking ahead. And so with Ryder, because he is a busier minded horse and I'm always having to throw in little kind of changes in the pace to keep him interested, it's a really good way of thinking about how to maximize my training with him. So that was basically the gist and then just getting him to move off the leg and stay honest in the contact really, but he's coming along really nicely. The canner is like night and day, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah. So it's way better. Yeah. It's time to put the GoPro on my head and uh, head out. It's a little windy out today, so hopefully it's not too bad on the GoPro. If it is, I'll try to tweak it a little bit on the audio settings. It's time to get a good ride in. What I want to do to start out with, since he's already warmed up, is just get into a nice long trot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let him get a little bit of speed in the trot, and then I want to bring him back down and uh, make sure that he's really listening to me as I'm going a little bit faster and then asking him to slow down with my seat, with my legs, easy on the reins. Uh, I don't want to be yanking on these a whole bunch. So I want to be in time with him. And as my rhythm goes up and up and up, I want him to um, realize that and get a little bit faster in the trot. And then on the other side of that, whenever I start to slow down, I want him to come back down a little bit. Now we haven't done this in a while, so he may be a little rusty, but I just want to go ahead and there. I want to always be looking up, looking where I'm going. Watch out for the trees. These are really good exercises because there's a whole bunch of ways that we can go. And he's got to listen to me, he's got to listen to where I'm going. I'm actually just going to go straight right here. See he's wanting to kind of lean back to the barn, that's okay. Just going to help him out a little bit. And then right here I'm going to go left. Then we're gonna curve back here to the right. We're just going at a nice, easy pace. But he's always gotta be listening to me. A little bit of left leg, there. See, there's so many directions that we can go. I want to make sure that he's listening to me and where I want him to go. A little bit of a hill. He's wanting to slow down right there, that's okay. Just gonna follow these little deer, deer trails right here. Asking for just a touch more. And then as I wanna come down, see, right there he was gaining a little bit of speed. I changed my body and I sat back just a little bit more and he came right back to me. That was a good boy. I'm gonna trot around this brush pile right here. He's like, hang on a minute, all the way around? There you go. Yeah. 
there, good boy. Then I'm gonna go around this tree right here, but I'm gonna go to the right. There. And we'll come to a walk. Good boy. So that was a good example of keeping your horse thinking, right? We had to, there was a bunch of pathways that we could go down and his job is to listen to me. His job is to listen to what I'm asking him for him to do, where we're supposed to be going, and then responding to that. So in Maddie's lesson the other day, they were talking about getting your horse to always constantly be thinking about you and about what you want them to do and, and where you want them to go. And if you're just, you know, I mean, if I just went right here and I just loped in a circle every day for, you know, a week, by, by day eight, they'd be like, okay, I know that I, we're just gonna go in a circle. So they can get a little bit dull, a little bit, uh, a little bit dull in the mind, if you will. So that's one thing that we try to avoid. I just want Blue to always be thinking about what I'm asking him to do Yes, we're getting a little bit of uh, physical exercise, but I'm also wanting him to get a little bit of mental exercise as well, so that at the end of the day, he's like, whew, I don't want to think about anything else. Right here, we're just going to take a little bit of a walk and uh, let him kind of recover a little bit. I do have to be careful a little bit with the ground. Uh, some of these areas around here at the ranch are... Um, they're a little bit deep and and the soil's not as good so you kind of have to be careful about what you're doing i'm not so worried about today because as you can see or hopefully you can see it's wet underneath here and uh, it's a little bit more compact than it usually would be but uh if it's usually if if we hadn't had a bunch of rain this would be dry and it would be a little hard to do this in so i've got to kind of be careful and a little bit strategic about where we're doing it See, I like to use these big clumps of trees. One reason I like cutting the grass around these trees like this is because it kind of gives you an area to lope in. Um, use these natural objects as uh, training tools. I know Ray Hunt says that in one of his books about using obstacles out in the field as training exercises. Um, I think he says like a cactus bush or something, you know, if you just have a cactus bush out in here, you could trot circles around it, kind of like we did that brush pile out there, and use that as a way to work on your horses. So what I think I'll probably do is I'll probably just lope a few circles around this tree right here. I'm just going to ask him to come to a trot, and then we'll go left lead. A little deep right here. And we're just going to lope off. go back down to a trot. And back down to a walk. There. Good boy. I'm just 
gonna ask him to lope a little or trot off a little bit, excuse me. Looks like a good open field for us to do a little bit of loping in. We're gonna go to the right. Good boy. And we'll go back now to a walk. There you go. Good boy. And that's pretty much it. Uh, we're not going to do too much today because he's still a little bit rusty. He's got a little bit of gas in his tank so we just wanted to break him out and uh, let him burn off a little bit of energy and I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what we do when we're not riding in the arena I think riding in the arena is a very very good thing I also think riding out here if you've got a nice safe horse is just as good if not a little bit better um, you know in this scenario you've got a lot of stuff going on there could be black buck or exotic animals over here there could be birds flying up out of here. You have trees all over the place. And he's really got to be paying attention to you and what you're asking him to do. Hope this was helpful. We're just going to cool down a little bit, work our way back to the barn, and we'll call it a day. That's going to be it for us, ladies and gentlemen. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe, and we'll see you next time.